Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see custom permissions. Now what are custom permissions and why do we use? So first, custom permissions are basically used to create permissions which are not existed in the predefined permission stack. Okay, so let's say we don't have permission like uh, is admin user or read only permission. At that time, we need to use custom permission in order to create that type of permission, right? So, if I talk about is authenticated or read only permission that is available in Django RS framework, okay? So, we don't need to create that. But if we want, what if we want to add admin user or read only at that time, it falls into the custom permission and we'll need to create it by our own okay and another example which i could give is that uh, let's say i have created blog and i am author of that particular blog right so i don't want any other user to have permission to update or delete that particular blog so in order to protect that we also need to create custom permission which will be object based so we can also create those type of permission in django rest framework and uh, those type of permission to restrict the particular object we don't have predefined permission for that in Django REST framework okay so that also falls into custom permission creation category okay so let's create those two type of permission and understand how we can create custom permission so let's jump into the computer screen and start coding so here I am on my computer screen now Let's go to blog underscore app. I'll just zoom a bit. Okay. Yeah. Blog underscore app and I'll go to views.py. Now here in previous video, we have seen all these permissions which were predefined in Django REST framework. Okay. Now to in order to create custom permission, we need to go to blog underscore app, click right right click over here and create new file and here i will say permissions.py okay now here we need to create all the classes which we want for creating custom permissions so here first i need to import from rest framework import permissions okay now here first i am going to create class for is admin or read only permission <coughs> okay so this permission will basically um restrict the user so if the admin if the user is not admin then he or she will not allow will not be allowed to update or delete the particular object not the object but he or she will not be allowed to create object okay because this permission is going to restrict this whole class okay and i will show you why it is going to restrict whole class so let's jump into chrome and here i'll go to website for django as framework and in this guide click on permissions now if you scroll down gradually okay here in this custom permissions you can see it has two type of permissions has permission and has object permission so this has permission we is used when you want to restrict whole class this particular class okay any class any okay at that time we need to use has underscore permission and when we want to restrict the object as i told before that I don't if I am the author of the blog that I don't want other users to update or delete that blog right at that time we need to use this has object permission I hope you got idea okay so back to vs code now in the permissions here I'll say class and here I'll say is admin user or read only now from permissions i will import is admin user okay now here i will say admin underscore permission
equals to super dot has permission and inside this I'll pass request comma view okay request is not even oh I need to you I need to create function sorry my bad I'll say has def has permission and inside this I need to pass this one okay sorry and after that I need to return return request dot method is double equals to get or admin underscore permission okay so what here we are doing is that if a user is not admin then just allow the get request otherwise allow all type of permissions which means post port update etc okay so if i click if i just copy this one come to views.py now i need to import that permission so here i can say from dot permissions import is admin or read only permission okay so i'll just copy this one and uh, let's rest restrict category list view for now so i'll just comment this duplicate this one and comment now here in this comment i'll say custom permission if user is admin then he will have permission to update to perform prod operations or read or sorry not or and other user will have read only permission okay now i have wrote this permission over here so let's see whether it is working or not so here i'm just gonna run the server now i'll click on this url now here i'll say api slash blog slash not blog detail but i'll say category let's go to category list yeah here okay so we are not logged in that's why we are not getting the um prompt to create the category so let me log in with admin credentials first okay so i am logged in with admin credentials and i am admin user that's why i am getting the prompt to create the category but let me log out and log in with the user which do not have admin role okay so still it is showing me the prompt okay so what's the issue let me check it so come back to vs code i'll just minimize this one go to permissions.py okay okay so i guess i have made very silly mistakes okay so let me first check for the user but before that i just need to write basic permission and here in if condition request dot uh, method in permissions dot save methods then i will just return true okay but in else condition 
I will check for the admin user. So I'll just remove this one. I don't want that. In here, I can say request user. Okay, so user is requesting, but and request user also should have is staff underscore staff. Sorry, is underscore staff role. Okay, I think this should work now. So let's jump over here. Here, refresh. Okay, I guess here she is having that type of role. I don't know. Let's go to admin panel. User. Okay, here yeah, she is not having. So let me try to add the category. You know, I can say Python. Post. Okay. Again. Okay. The user is admin. I need to log out from here. Log out. Oops. Sorry. Okay, I'm logged in with Yosh. Let me try to create the category. I'll say Python post. Okay, so I am able to post the object. Okay, so it worked. So what I have done over here. So here I have basically rewrote the class. Okay, so here I have checked for the uh, admin user. So first I have imported the basic base permission. Okay. Then in this has underscore permission, I have just re written the if else condi if condition, like if the user is uh, requesting for the safe request. Now what is safe request? So get request is safe request and all other requests apart from get request are not safe request. Okay. So this get request falls into the safe request here you can see in the description okay so tuple of get head and options is safe request okay now if this is not the case then i am just checking for the uh, is staff role of the particular user so if the user is having is staff role then he will allow to update or create all the data otherwise it is just going to have read only permission okay so sorry i have done little bit late okay so i realized my mistake and i came back so here yash is not having his staff role that's why the prompt is gone okay so if i log out then also i will not get the prompt but if i log in with admin then you can see i got the prompt to create new category okay so i hope you got idea about this now let's check the object level permission so here i can just say class is owner or read only permission okay now here I'll pass permissions dot base permission. Now here I can say ha def has object permission. Now here in this I'll say if user I'm in request dot method is in I can pass that tuple okay and I can also pass this permissions dot safe methods I can do either ways okay and here I can say return true 
now if this is not the case then i can directly say return obj dot author is double equals to request request dot auth user okay once this is done i'll just copy this class name come to views.py now here i will import that one now we will restrict the detail view so let's go to the blog detail view over here now here i can add permissions sorry permission underscore classes and equals to i'll pass that one over here okay so once this is done just save and i'll go to the website i mean the api and i'll say blog underscore detail one okay so admin is the author of this particular blog okay as you can see over here that's why we are getting the prompt to update but what if i log out log in with yosh you can see i haven't got the prompt to update this blog because i am not the author of this blog okay so let's go to the blog lists and see which blog contains author yash okay so we don't have blog which contains author yash okay but you, you already saw the example so you can try this by your own so this is it for the custom permission so yeah i hope you got idea about the custom permission how we can restrict a particular class and a object okay so in next video i am just gonna create the comment uh, detail view i haven't created it okay so we are going to create in create that in the next video so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you